Okay, this video is on how to solve a quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. In order to use the quadratic formula, you have to have your quadratic equation in this form. The number in front of the x square is considered a. The number in front of the x is b. And the number without an x is c. So working the first problem, a equals the number in front of x squared. The number in front of x squared is an invisible 1. b is the number in front of x. b is 8. And c is the number without the x. c is negative 4. All we're going to do is plug that into the quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4 times a times c all divided by 2a. Let's plug our numbers in. And here we get b. b was 8. 8. a was 1. 1. And c was negative 4. So let's do the math. x equals a negative 8 plus or minus the square root. 8 squared is 64. Minus 4 times 1 times a negative 4. In other words, negative 4 times negative 4 is a positive 16. All over 2. x equals negative 8 plus or minus the square root of 80. 64 plus 16 is 80 over 2. Okay, now negative 8 plus or minus. Square root of 80 is 16 times 5. 16 times 5 is 80. I'm just breaking 80 down over 2. And this, if you look, we can break the square root of 16 times 5 apart. Square root of 16 times the square root of 5. You see, that can be broken apart. So we have x equals negative 8 plus or minus Square root of 16 is 4, so it's plus or minus 4 square root of 5 all over 2. So what we have is, I'm going to bring this up here, negative 8 plus or minus 4 square root of 5. And they're both over 2. I'm just splitting the 2 apart and putting them in each. So negative, five divide, negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. 4 and 2 cancel here. And we get a 2. So this is what my answer is. x equals negative 4 plus or minus 2 square root of 5. What you really have is two answers. You have x equals negative 4 plus 2 square root of 5, and you have x equals negative 4 minus 2 square root of 5. That plus or minus means you have two separate answers, one with a plus and one with a minus in the middle. Let's try one more. a equals 1, b equals 5, and c equals 5. 
plugging them into the formula, x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. a is 1, b is 5, and c was 5. Let's see what we get here. x equals negative 5 plus or minus the square root 25, and then this is minus 20. 25 minus 20 is 5. On the inside of square root, you should get 5 over 2. So I have two answers. Nothing else reduces here. So I have two answers. I have x equals negative 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And I have x equals negative 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Two separate answers. That plus or minus gives us two answers. One answer is with plus, and the other answer is with a minus. Two separate answers. I hope this video helps you solve using the quadratic formula.